What's up, culinary geeks? Today, a great summer recipe. We are gonna use zucchini to make zucchini fritters in the air fryer. You can use exactly the same recipe into a pan and shallow fry. It's gonna be delicious, it's gonna be healthy and super easy to make. Let's check this out. I have two zucchini here. I'm gonna cut the edge off and then grate. All right, after taking the edge off from the zucchini, I'm gonna grab the grater, I'm gonna use this side, a large bowl here, and I'm gonna just grate this zucchini, super easy. All right, after I grated my zucchini, I want to add a little bit of salt, just a pinch of salt. The salt will let the zucchini release the water. All right, I have transferred my grated zucchini into a colander like this. So I recommend using a cheesecloth for strain even more your zucchini, the grated zucchini. Okay, I'm gonna transfer it in it. And then I'm gonna transfer here and squish it. So I eliminated a lot of, of the zucchini water. Now I'm gonna transfer the strained zucchini into a bowl. All right, so I have two and a half cup of zucchini here. And now I'm gonna incorporate the rest of the ingredients. Super easy. I add one fourth of a cup of all-purpose flour. In this case, I'm, I'm using gluten-free gluten -free flour, one one, but you can use normal flour if you want. I have one fourth of a cup of Parmigiano Reggiano cheese, the original one. In, I have two minced garlic that I'm gonna put in. Cool. And I have one egg that I just lightly beaten up. I'm gonna add a little bit more of sea salt, just a bit, and a touch of black pepper. Everything is nice and well incorporated. We want to get to a consistency that's not too liquidy, not too dry. I think this is kind of like great to have it. I'm gonna preheat my air fryer at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for about five to 10 minutes. I want my fryer nice and hot prior to place my fritters inside. I'm gonna cook the fritters for about 10 to 15 minutes. I want to check it out, I want nice crispy the edge and I want a little bit of softness inside. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more fried recipe, tips and tricks to get the best out of your fryer or if you're curious about a frying. All right, my fryer is nice and it's getting hot. Now I'm gonna proceed by shaping these fritters. I'm gonna use one fourth of a cup, get this into it, just like that. I'm super excited to try and to cook in my air fryer. Before that, a couple of tips for you. First off, you can just shape it as a fritters. You can place into the freezer for about a couple of hours and then you can just store in a Ziploc bag and it will last two or three months, no question asked, no problem. Second, if you feel like that you are kind of unsure that this will not keep the shape, you can just place as they are into the fridge or freezer for five, 10 minutes, that will get a little bit more firmer and it's gonna be easier to cook. I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna try to cook as they are. So I'm gonna just shape a little bit as a fritters, place in my Philips air fryer and let's see how they will turn out. Super exciting. All right, so I preheated the air fryer at 325 degrees for about 10 minutes. I have my fritters here. Cool. So I have here my basket. My food surprise is same as a hot. So we handle this. Just place it here in the corner. Yeah, I would say that four, it's just the limit. I'm gonna push it just a little bit. Just press it. Here's what I have right now. I'm gonna place this, cook for six minutes without flipping over. I just let the, the air fryer do its job. At this point, I'm not adding any oil. Why this? Because now the fritters are like cold. And since they are cold, the oil is gonna be soaked into the mixture. And we don't want that. We want the oil to just help us and get the crispiness. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cook this for about six to eight minutes at 325 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna start to get a consistency. And then only later, 
I'm gonna flip it over and finish the cooking at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for eight minutes. And I will flip halfway through once again. Only in the second part of the cooking, we're gonna add oil twice. All right, so the dipping sauce is super easy to make. I have half cup of Greek yogurt. I love the fire Greek yogurt I, I have for breakfast every morning, so I always have with me in my fridge. You can use any other yogurt. It has to be like, you know, plain yogurt. It's a base. I'm gonna add half tablespoon of finely chopped chives in. I'm gonna add one minced garlic in. And then I'm gonna add like a pinch of salt and a little bit of black pepper. Here we go, super easy. All right, I just finished cooking the six fritters. They look absolutely amazing. I just did a quick plating. I put my little dipping sauce with garlic and uh, Greek yogurt together, put on top. Looks amazing, smells really good. You can feel like the smell of the Parmigiano Reggiano that we put inside. I'm super excited to try this out. Let's do this. I give it a bite like this. Mmm. Yummy. That's how I do yogurt. Mmm. It is definitely super yummy. This perfect savory snack for the afternoon instead of having chips or something more unhealthy. Definitely perfect for vegetarian as well. I definitely recommend once again to use this yogurt dipping sauce. It really cuts through the savoriness of this snack. My wife and I love, both love it. Do it, try it, it's super easy to make. All right, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more fried recipes, more vegetarian recipes. In my channel, I have a bunch of vegetarian recipes. You will not even miss the meat. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next. Enjoy.